Hello, in today's video I'm going to be talking about registrars, celebrants, celebrants and registrars, the hybrid, the individual, the combo, the either or. So hello one and all, welcome to my channel, thank you for joining. My name is Helen Noble, I'm celebrant of Surrey and founder of Swan Song. I'm going to be supplying all of you with weekly goodness of all things ceremony and things that feed into that, be that weddings, namings, funerals, whatever, all things ceremony. Find me on my socials, follow me, Celebrant of Surrey for mostly all things wedding and Swan Song definitely for all things funeral, funeral design and funeral planning. Please hit the bell and please subscribe so we can notify you when I do some more goodness. So registrars and celebrants. Yes, they are two different things. Yes, in the England, it's different to Scotland. That is why I'm doing this video on the combos. Now, in a nutshell, in England, ceremonial is the wedding. A wedding is a ceremony, it's an event. I'm an event supplier, I work in the events industry. I am not a registrar, I am not a civil servant, I do not work for the council. I'm not ordained, I do not, I am not a person for cloth, I do not work for the church. I work for you, I am a supplier because I work in the events industry in the wedding and funeral profession. That's the main big difference. So if you want to incorporate all that professional skill, the freedom to say what you want, the design, all that jazz, then a celebrant is for you because a registrar has boundaries because they are a civil servant and are legally binding and have, you know, have that framework. But you can mix it up. Not all celebrants will. Some celebrants are like, no, 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 just pick one, celebrant or registrar. I'm quite happy to share. Sharing is caring. Um, if you do want a hybrid, as in you just want someone to be able to do it all, then Gretna Green, make your friend, <laughs> up to Scotland you go, um, or, you know, Tenerife, wherever, have a little elopement. Um, but there are ways of doing both on the same day. Here are two examples. First example is two different venues in two different time slots. It kind of depends where the registry office is and what your budget is. Some of my brides and couples have quite high budgets so it doesn't bother them. They can just pack it all in, happy days. In which case they can call the registrar out to them, out of their hours of work, out of their place of work. Um, and so effectively they are paying for two services fully, but that's what they want. That's where they put their worth. They want to get married on their wedding. So they tend to book the registrar for the first available slot. It might be half past nine on say the Saturday morning. The registrar comes to the venue, they go to the license room, they have their interview, and then they do with their witness, their plus one, the other half's plus one, and the registrar's plus one. So there's six of you in the room. Um, it might be as you've hired the venue and you've got space, bring everybody. If you're having a big wedding sleepover, bring everybody. Uh, so you can do it first thing in the morning um, without it being ceremonial as such. It's not the wedding, it's like the warm up, it's the paperwork. So you can do that in the morning. Some people, some of my couples like to do it first thing on the wedding morning, and some people like to do it first thing the first day they are married in their head. They have the wedding, say on the Friday or the Thursday and on the next day, first thing in the morning, because they've all had their wedding sleepover, everybody comes down in the morning and does the marriage. So you can get married on your wedding day, but it will depend on your budget, it will depend on the registrar's availability of their time slots, and it will depend on whether you still have alcohol in your system. <laughs> I joke, but I have been to a wedding where the groom had had a bit to drink. He wasn't drunk, he wasn't intoxicated, but the law is you do your contract, um, what is it, reverently, responsibly, and after serious thought. And 
um, it didn't, in their eyes, seem responsible because you could smell alcohol in his breath and they didn't do it. <gasps> Can you imagine? Yes, I did look at the bride and I did think, holy moly, I'm really glad <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> um, so it does happen. So in the morning, if you like to have a little drink, maybe get married in the week. Because for me, if you are a little bit tipsy at the wedding and it's all jolly, I'm not going to judge. I will just have a glass of champagne myself. Um, but if that is genuinely a thing, some people met over a drink, they're really pub culture. They don't want to feel nervous. So they do have a little swig or they do have maybe more than two bucks fizzes in the morning, but any more than two bucks fizzes, you can see it in your skin, you can see it in your eyes, you can kind of hear it in your voice. And if your registrar gets wind that you have alcohol in your system and you are not soberly entering into this legal, legally binding contract, so don't risk it for a biscuit. Um, so you can get married in the same day of having your wedding if you want a celebrant led wedding, but that will depend on your budget. You can also get married after your wedding. This is a is absolutely fine. I've done it loads of times. It doesn't worry me in any way. Um, the only catch, which isn't really a catch, if you've designed your timeline really well, if you've got a good wedding planner, if you've got me on board, um, if you've got a great run venue, what would happen is we do the ceremony, then the couple go out with whoever is their witness and witness and whoever is they want in the room, because it doesn't matter, because whatever. Um, they do definitely need a witness each, that's the rule. Um, and then I would either go with them and be the, wit be the witness to one of them, um, or I would go with the um, wedding guests and start helping the photographer capture and do portrait stuff. Um, the downside of that is that you no alcohol can come out yet because they need to make sure that there is no alcohol in the couple's system. So we have to kind of hover and wait and catch up and chat, which is not a problem because it goes like that anyway, because it actually only takes about 12 minutes to get married. Um, the couple go off, do their legally binding contract and come back to us in full party swing or confetti ready. Um, it's quite fun. If it is in a different room, they go down the aisle, they go off to the room to do their marriage. I heard the cats round to the registration room. We secret squirrel outside, which is really hard and everyone's really excited. Um, get the confetti tunnel and as they open the door freshly married, we're like, woohoo! Um, so that's good fun too. The Yeah, so the only downside is um, you have to stay dry until they are married. So that's hybrid, as in if you want both at the same time, head to Gretna Green or Scotland or a foreign land. Um, if you want to combine, you can do it pre or post wedding ceremony. It is best. I've only ever done it with chats with the registrar. I haven't just secretly squirreled, oh, I'm having a wedding. <laughs> oh, by the way, they're getting married after. Um, I've always got in touch with the council and said, I'm gonna be taking the wedding, we're gonna lead over to here, is that okay with you? Have you got a preference? Sometimes the registrars can be a bit funny, most of the time they're absolutely fine because they're in it because they want to serve. Um, and usually their preference is they want to do it either before or after, it depends on the registrar. So have that conversation with your registry office. They don't need to worry about when you're getting having your wedding because they are not in the wedding business. They are not wedding professionals. They are civil servants and in that legally binding industry. I'm a wedding professional. I'm a wedding supplier. I will do what works for you. So you can have both. You can have both on the same day. The simplest one is, of course, chop down in the morning on, say, a Thursday, have your marriage, go out for a lovely boozy lunch and then spend the next two days kind of getting wedding ready because it's all about the party. Hope that's helpful. Hope that's good fun. Hope that's made you go, oh, there's more than one option. Yes, there's loads of options. 
So if you want to discover more, again, head over to my socials, DM me, go onto my website. Let's get connected. I'll be back next week. Lots of love.